Hello there, I am Ethan, the head of support at OpenTrons. Today, we will look at the newly redesigned protocol library, a repository of pre-designed protocols covering a wide range of applications from DNA extraction to PCR setup. I'll walk you through the process of finding and downloading a protocol that fits your needs for your OpenTrons robot. First, we will navigate to the protocol library. A link to the protocol library will be in the video's description. When we're at the library, we can browse through the extensive collection to find a protocol that fits our needs. OpenTron simplifies complex procedures to ensure accuracy and reproducibility. Additionally, we have numerous verified protocols that have been tested by our in-house science team or reagent manufacturers. To find a protocol that fits my needs, we can either use the search bar to search for one, or we can browse for one based on the category of our application. Since I need a simple serial dilution for my wonderful new flux, I'll use the search bar to search for that protocol. There are two protocols for my search, so it's easy to see which one works for the flex. If I did use a search term that had more results, I do have a few ways to filter the protocols by. I can filter them by the robot I'm using, the verification method, modules being used, pipettes being used, labware being used, or the category of my application. Since I have a flex, I will use the customizable serial dilution for the flex. There's a lot of useful information on this page, so let's take a second to review all of it. On the right-hand side, we have the image carousel, which shows the deck map, as well as the starting liquid needed in each labware. Clicking on the supporting data button will display the application notes and other important information about the protocol. Under the what you'll need section, we display the equipment needed to run the protocol. Clicking a labware name will provide you with purchasing information for the labware. Under the protocol step section, we have detailed information on protocol steps, guide to setting up the protocol, and tips for success with the protocol. Let's continue on with configuring this protocol and downloading it so we can run it on the Flex. Now I can use the configure and download button to modify specific variables for this protocol, such as pipette type, labware type, number of transfers, or different attributes about the transfer steps. My P1008 channel pipette is on the left mount of my flex so i will modify the mount side variable so the pipette is on the left mount i will also decrease the number of dilutions from 10 to 5 and rename the protocol file name so it's easier for me to remember and track versions of lastly i will download the protocol the protocol will be saved to my computer at this point, I can use the OpenTrons app to upload the protocol and then run the protocol on my Flex. That concludes this video on how to download a protocol from our library. I encourage you to explore the newly redesigned OpenTrons protocol library today to unlock the new possibilities for your lab. Thanks for watching the video.